Today we're going to talk about some issues that may be going on with some of the potting soil some of us are buying. And it could be there maybe are so many people buying potting soil that they may be pushing it a little early before it's ready. But we're going to go over everything and at the end I'll tell you a quick fix for most of the issues if you're having any. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California with Kitty. And today I wanna to talk about some of the different potting soil that I've been getting because I'm starting a lot of seeds directly outside and inside and all over. Some of the potting soil I've gotten looks more like garden soil and I'm starting to see the difference in some of my seedlings that I'm growing. I'm gonna to have to say that the best results I'm getting is out of the miracle Grow, And I know some of you don't want to use miracle Grow, but let me tell you, miracle Grow for the price it is, anywhere between $7 and $11 for one cubic foot, is a really good price. And yes, you can get organic potting soil for as much as $35, $40. Now, I bought this potting soil, also known as potting mix, for $5. And I noticed a lot of the seedlings that I'm using this for are not doing as well. Now the radishes I grew here, the top layer, I do layers with paper and leaves. The top layer with miracle Grow, it grew really good to radishes. We've already almost finished them. And here are some cucumbers. I grew a cluster of cucumbers and I separated them and I grew those on the top layer with miracle Grow. Underneath has shredded paper and leaves because I use that as a filler. And the miracle Grow grew the cucumbers pretty good. They've been in there for a few days now and they seem to be growing good. And you can see the the soil looks really nice and fluffy. But when I planted the rest of the cucumbers, there were four more left, and with my radishes I just planted, I noticed that the cucumbers were not happy the last four. And you'll see here, they turned yellow. And I think they're on their way out. Now, it almost looks like the baby seedlings are getting burnt. I look at this soil, and I think it looks more like garden soil than potting mix. There's no perlite or vermiculite in there and it stays very soggy. See how yellow they've turned? The radishes are doing okay but I think they grew faster last time in miracle Grow. but we'll see or my own potting mix that comes out of my totes. So we'll have to see how it is. Keep in mind not all potting mix or potting soil is the same and it could be different even with different lots being that it's all made out of forest matter, quote unquote, which could be different types of leaves. These are the different types of potting mix and potting soil. So I want you to be aware of that, that if you're planting and it doesn't look right, it may not be you. It could be the soil. Swap and try another bag of soil. Now here, I've been using mainly some of the miracle Grow that I've got. Look how nice that's growing. You'll see a lot of it's growing real nice. This was a test side-by-side -side test that somebody did. And to the right, you could see the miracle Grow, And to the left, you could see a cheaper brand of potting soil that was actually Walmart. This one, I think you remember the tomato plant I grew in the Aldi's. It didn't grow. It turned yellow. So if you're having an issue, keep in mind it may not be you, and you might be buying something like a potting mix that really is not ready or is not as good, and it's acting more like, well, wood chips. Kitty will tell you that. I'm always into trying different things. I don't want any of you to get discouraged if you're planting something and you go, no, it's not growing, it's me, it's not you. It may be the potting soil. Try different types. I even have some miracle Grow from last year and bags I bought this year, and they don't look the same. Remember, it's whatever they're making it out of. It could have pine needles in one and apple in another, you know, apple leaves in another mix. It's whatever they get and they break down. You never know what it's going to be. All in all, it's still good to use. I'm going to use the cheaper one now, like I did here. The miracle Grow is only an inch of miracle Grow on the top. I'm going to use the cheaper brand to put more in the middle when I'm putting in my leaves and my paper. And on the top, I'm going to stick with either my own that comes out of another tote, or I will stick with miracle Grow right now. Why? Because it works for me and the plants seem to grow better. But keep in mind that even if they're sitting in this mix, this cheap potting mix, they can, after a few weeks, settle in and then take off and grow. Potting mix is designed to hold the proper amount of water. 
where your topsoil and your garden soil is not meant for that. It's actually meant to go in the ground and mix with your own native soil. But I know that a lot of us are trying to save money, so we're trying to mix it. You'd be better off to layer it instead. At least that's my opinion. It works for me. So I hope I've given you some ideas here. Look around, you know, I'm going and judging my own seeds this year because like I said, it's always different. And I like the way the radishes grew in that one inch of miracle Grow, And I can see the difference between those cucumbers. One cluster separated, planted in two containers similar, and yet the one with the miracle Grow on the left is growing really good and the one on the right, even though there's radishes in there, which has nothing to do with it, those cucumbers are not growing good. All plants are not created equal. The radishes may not have a problem with it, but being that it's still breaking down, they're not getting the nitrogen. The nitrogen is being drawn away from the plants. And you could do, you know, add nitrogen in by adding in leaf matter in there, and that will start to build the soil too. So keep that in mind. It's not a complete loss. It's just I'm going to use miracle Grow on the top for my seedlings and very young plants. That's not to say I'm not going to use it for older plants I might move around. It's still a good potting soil. It's just not quite finished in my opinion that it could have gone a little further, broken down better, and maybe had a little more perlite or something in there. You know, it cost me $5. I want to make sure you all garden and that's why I want to stress here that if you plant something and it doesn't work out, don't quit. It's not you. It could be simply the potting soil that you chose. And being that, you know, potting soil is not created equal bag to bag, the next bag will be better or a different brand may work better for you. Maybe try a little bit of a better brand and see how it works. But it's just too soggy for me, and I wanted to kind of update you on what was going on because you know that sometimes I use miracle Grow. Dr. Earth is wonderful. There's a lot of great soils out there, Kellogg's, many different types and brands. But just keep in mind, it's not always you, and it is the way they make it. And maybe they bagged it early. Maybe they were short of product. It's hard to say. They could be selling tons of potting mix this year, and they might be bagging it a little early. Like I said, I compared it to what I had left last year, and it looked a little different. Lettuce is somewhat forgiving. You can probably grow that in either one. But, you know, some of your heavy feeders, like your cucumbers and your squash and your tomatoes, they may need something a little bit more oomph in the soil, and that's where your miracle Grow is a good start. If you can't layer, see, I love my own soil. Remember all the leaves and everything, and they're completely broke down, and that's what they're getting. So I hope I've given you some thoughts and ideas. Don't give up. I want you to be successful and grow a whole lot of stuff, and then you'll have your own food to eat as well. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So as some of you may remember that this one was planted in the cheaper potting soil and it didn't do well, see how it's green? But there was a quick fix. What you could do is either grow peas or beans. These are red scarlet runner beans. Or you could also just simply dig a hole, push in some green leaves into your soil and push it back. That will start to provide nitrogen in there. And as you know, your beans and your peas are nitrogen fixers. And you know how I know? Look at the new growth. Look how green the new growth is. And it's coming all over the plant. The soil just needed a little bit of help. Okay, here. That's what she's been waiting for. So there are ways of fixing it if you've noticed your plants are going a little yellow. With that, have a wonderful day again. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.